children now it's time for the uh, science in the science also the last class we have started the crop production so to produce the crops as i have said you a farmer undergoes seven procedures so prepare a farm and it will be fit for cultivation of any type of crops the first process is uh, preparation of the soil second process is the uh, sowing third process is the uh, adding manure and fertilizers to that and so on in the previous class i have made you understand today i'm going to make you understand clear with uh, so many concepts and so many questions are also arising from this first two concept that is uh, how will you how will a farmer prepare its uh, farm and uh, how it sows the seeds what are the methods what are the instruments are used for this let me make you understand you can see the first procedure is the preparation of the soil why the soil is need to be prepared because the first step of agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it so after loosening or turning the soil soil is more suitable when a farmer sow the seeds when the farmer sow the seeds then the roots go penetrate okay go deep into the soil or we can say they are penetrating deep in the soil and remains firm and tight with the firm that's why farmers before sowing the seeds they go for turning the soil and how do they do by the help of certain tools farming tools we say okay like plow by the help of plow they do this all the activities and how do the plow look like and uh, what are the process of plowing let me make you understand but before that so many concepts are there like not only the farmers help but also you might have seen uh, certain microbes and uh, even earthworms also they are called as a, a friend of farmers so why they are called as a friend of farmers children because you might have seen also earthworm farming is also there so even farmers purchase the earthworms to put in the land do you know why that is happening because earthworms uh, they do eat the soil they do eat the soil and they go pan they are also moving inside the soil and as you all know that the first layer of the soil is only suitable for the cultivation not the second and third layers of the soil so the first layer since it is suitable for the cultivation the first layers uh, need to be torn off why let me give another reason so when this uh, uh, earthworms they go deep in the soil they go on eating the soil along with that they lose the soil and they turn the soil too and due to that reason the plant roots can easily breathe or can easily do the respiration processes and also can go deep into the and also can go deep into the soil so this is also another reason why these microbes and earthworms are known as the friends of the farmers and uh, farmers turn the soil do you know the reason actual reason is uh, as we know that the soil is also a rich of mineral and some plant and uh, animals dead and decaying matters when we turn the soil when the farmers turn the soil they lose the soil along with that this decomposed minerals uh, are also released to outside and there is called humus and uh, natural fertilizers uh, are being obtained by the plants so that is also another reason why the soil is needed to be turned off to be turned off before sowing the seeds these are the some of the reasons uh, and uh, this process of loosening the soil and uh, turning the soil is called as a tilling or called as a plowing p l o u g s i n g called plowing don't say ploughing ploughing is a wrong pronunciation is called plowing and let me show you plow how a farmer takes the help of a plow and uh, do its task it was done before time and sometimes let me show it first to you so guys you can see here this is an example of a plow and what are the parts of this plow so the long beam like structure is there which one uh, is put to the beam and uh, which is being pulled by the bullocks or is pulled by the horses in some of the reasons and the triangular part is called plow share 
and it's the end of the plowshare maybe of iron but in this days uh, uh, farmers prefer iron one and because they are more sharper and takes less time the same time than that of the wooden one before ancient time uh, farmers used to have the wooden plows let me show another one here is an example you can see by the help of the bullocks and the uh, the rod just like the iron the the wooden bar which is connecting the two bullocks uh, and which is uh, loaded up on the neck region is called beam and uh, beam is uh, uh, connected by the help of the rope that is tied by the help of uh, the rope and uh, the another one so uh, the farmer presses this plow under the ground and the ground is a uh, taunt of turned up matlab wahan pe soil hota hai the soil is turned off like that so this procedure takes a lot of time if somebody is having acres of field acres and hectares it takes so much of time the so farmers are uh, uh, okay they spend days and uh, nights not nights we can say they early mornings they uh, used to go and they plow their field uh, Uh, from ancient times, it was a uh, used to happen in the village areas. But nowadays, to save the time, those all tractors, cultivators are there. They help them to save the time and uh, do the work faster, and also save the energy, like manpower, and also save some of the money too. Let me show another one is called ho h o e ho. What is what is that? As we know that there are three things required for this agricultural implements, children. the three things which are required for the implement are plow hoe and cultivator you can see cultivator now this plowing is done by the tractor driven cultivator the use of the cultivator saves labor saves time also and the upper one the hoe hoe h o e so aap logo mein aur ek dikhane wala hu what is the tool is so called dekhiye aap log aisa wala ho dekhe bhi honge shayad hamare day to day lives mein bhi hum log grasses मतलब जो घास काटने के लिए भी इस्तेमाल करते रहते हैं दिस इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज टू पुल आउट सम वीड्स व्हिच इज अ ग्रोन इन द एरिया रीजन सर लेट मी शो अनदर वन तो आप लोग देख सकते हैं दिस इज आल्सो एन एग्जांपल ऑफ एन हो एंड ऐसे वाले तो चीज आप लोग देखे होंगे ना नहीं ऐसे टूल्स सो इट इज यूज टू लूज इन द सॉइल आल्सो इट इज आल्सो यूज टू रिमूव द वीड्स ग्रासेस from the uh, uh, crops also that's why we use this long tool and uh, it's called ho h o e ho next comes sowing the seeds this is an example of the uh, my definition is like why the earthworm is called the friend of the farmer so how do they eat the soil and uh, they lose in the soil also so that the plant roots can breath easily and can go more and more deeper part of this soil that is shown here as you know sowing is the second important part of our crop production it is also process of putting the seeds in the field with a uniform and covered by the soil to soil to protect it from being eaten by the birds and uh, how it has been done this is can be done by the help of some traditional tools and by using the seed drill seed drill methods and uh, you can see here this is called seed drilling dekhi aap log yahan pe bahut sare instrument hai aise kiya jata hai seed drilling so sir bahut sare aaj ka date mein instruments hai nahi to aaj ka time pe log aise haath mein bunte the pehle dekhiye yahan pe pura ka pura after uh, turning the soil they use it to sow the seeds by the help of the hand only they move the area and they go on sowing the seed that took uh, much more time but uh, now this is the method uh, by the help of this uh, seed drilling method and they it pours the but uh, soil uh, sorry the seeds in a particular region and uh, with uniform gap also they put so that no two plants are adjoined together and they will get sufficient amount of water and fertilizers and manures to and they will be growing easily in that area you can see here the bottom part of the figure is shown the traditional method of sowing traditionally seed sowing is okay, sowing the seeds are done by the help of the uh, funnel like sap to an object you can see so where one person use use it to a uh, hold the plow and another one is go on pouring the seeds within the funnel and the funnel wherever so within within that uh, torn soil they go on pouring 
the seeds and the seeds remain with the soil and they start growing when they get suitable environment like favorable conditions like water as well as manure when they get they, they go on growing from that area Now another example is called seed drill. You can see nowadays the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of the tractors too. The sows the seeds uniformly at equal distances, depth also, and it prevents the birds to come and to eat those all seeds because uh, it covers the soil also upon the seeds. Uh, so sow may be using the seed drill save the time and labor too. So this is all the uh, two okay first and most important parts of agriculture then comes adding manure and fertilizers which one will discuss tomorrow we will discuss three parts tomorrow three more important parts thank you have a good day